Hey everyone, my name is Woody Woodworm, and we're here at Plant 211 in Union City, Georgia with UFPI TV. A little birdie told us that the world famous detective, safety detective, Flint Hardwood is here and has some valuable information about nail gun safety. Let's go take a look and see what he has to say. Ashley, keep your hands off that last jelly donut. It's got my name all over it. Good afternoon. Split, split hardwood's the name. Safety's the game. Safety detective, more properly. And I'm here to make this a better world for you and for me. Today we're going to be talking about nail gun safety and how important it is to all of us. This here is a Johnson 5,000 Magnum. It's a very dangerous gun. It's a fine operating tool. It can shoot 50 nails per minute. In the hands of the right operator, it can really do some damage. But you've got to be a trained expert to handle this baby. This one was made for me special. Now this over here, this is probably more like what you'll be using. But remember, even this gun in your hands can be very dangerous. Each year, there's 37,000 reported accidents where people go to hospital emergency rooms with nail gun injuries. 37,000. These injuries can be multifaceted, all of them bad. But here we have some examples of, how, of where these injuries occur. We've got leg and knee and feet injuries, where someone shoots themselves in one of those appendages. We've got injuries to the arm. We've got injuries to hand and fingers. And lastly, we've got a whole separate category, other body parts. Now I'm going to let it, leave it to your imagination as to what those might be but it sounds pretty gruesome to me. Bottom line, nail gun safety is very important. You need to operate one of these very carefully to keep you and your fellow employees safe. You can shoot yourself in the leg. That works. Uh, you can shoot yourself in the eye. Is this how this goes? Oh, my, 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 my. You can shoot yourself in the hand. Better at this now. You don't want to be the guy that injures your fellow employee. Or even yourself. You don't want to be the guy that hurts someone else, do you? You don't want to be that guy, do you? You don't want to be the person to hurt somebody else, do you? You don't want to be the guy to hurt someone else, do you? I wonder what the wives would say. Nail gun safety is very important because somebody else waiting for you at home. Everybody depends on us, so better do a good job and, keep, and be safe all the time. I'm glad I'm going to have somebody to support all these kids. I wonder what the children would say. Why did you hurt my daddy? daddy? I wonder about the wives and the children. If you caused one of your fellow employees to get hurt, how would they feel? How would they feel? 
That puts the pressure on us each day to make sure we work safe here at Universal Forest Now that you see the consequences of using the nail gun wrong, now you're gonna see how to use it safely. Go. Now, Thomas Rex, the assistant production manager, will tell us how to safely use the nail gun. Hello, my name is Thomas Rex, assistant production manager here at Glenfree Lepo. I'm not here to teach you how to properly the boat, to take you the product of the film. I'm here to teach you how to safely operate the nail gun. Nail gun can be dangerous too, not following instructions. It can be your best friend, but it can pick out the worst nightmare if you not following the rules. Here are the rules to follow. You must be properly trained to operate the nail gun. You must be your PPNE, safety glasses, earplugs, gloves, and you're operating a nail gun. You must inspect your nail gun before operating it. Report any kind of malfunctions and unsafe conditions immediately. Never point the nail gun in the direction of your co-workers or to yourself. You must keep your finger off from the trigger unless you're ready to fire. You must disconnect your nail gun and you load your nail. Preparing your jam, leave your nail gun unattended. Maintain safe distance from the point of fire, at least 6 inches. Try to avoid large nuts to cover an unexpected setting of the nail. I don't like it. <laughs> Always maintain safe distance from the point of fire, minimum of 6 inches. Never get engaged in any kind of horseplay. Maintain communication with your co-workers. Finally, safety is more important than hitting your production numbers. If you're not doing your job safely, you're not doing your job right. If you're not follow safety rules, I'll be back. <laughs> Why are Neil gone safe and home? I think nail gun safety is important because it ensures that I can support my family and be an asset to myself and to my family on a daily basis. If you aren't safe with a nail gun, you could shoot somebody in the leg. If you aren't safe with a nail gun, you could shoot somebody in the eye. Being unsafe with a nail gun, you could shoot somebody in some other body. Nail gun safety is important because it keeps everyone around us safe, it keeps ourselves safe, and it stops from us making punches in our hands, punches in our legs, uh, to anyone else. Nail gun safety is important because you don't want to injure yourself or a co-worker due to an unintentionally discharged nail. Nail gun safety is important so that uh, when we come to work and we go home, we, we go in the same position. We want to make sure that we go with all our fingers intact, our feet intact, our leg intact, our eyes intact. We need to see what we're doing and feel what we're doing. Daddy song. Daddy song. Oh, doesn't that make you feel great? Now we've been trained on nail gun safety. We can be both productive and safe. Who is that strange man in our house? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's time for me to go. Take care, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for being a safe worker. Thanks for being a safe worker. Thanks for being a safe worker. Thanks for being a safe worker.